Have you ever noticed when a YouTuber is about to make a really personal video, they start by turning on their camera, sitting down, and sighing? Nothing wrong with that, just something I noticed. Hey everyone, how you do? I'm gonna roll in. Before we dive into the topic of today's video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to a very special guest, the zit on my face. I got a comment a couple months ago, and having done YouTube for 10 years, I have been subjected to every type of opinion on my work, my voice, my face, my hair, my clothes, my ethnicity, and my nationality. The guy isn't even Canadian. He might be a Canadian citizen, but he'll never be a real Canadian. I know better than to let these things fester in my brain, but since I have received similar comments, I thought I should address everything today. I miss the old Gunnarola. Sorry, there's just something in my eye. Probably gonna use this for the video thumbnail though. Let's unpack this comment by trying to determine which old Gunnarola is even worth missing. Do you miss the Gunnarola of 10 years ago who was creating TV moments which were essentially the precursor to daily vlogs with an opening sequence and editing that made mundane moments of everyday life seem vaguely entertaining? Like, a little version of Mark. Is it cuter than me? I just said, it's like a little version of Mark. Is it cuter than me? I just said, it's like a little version of Mark. Is it cuter than me? I just said, it's like a little version of Mark. Is it cuter than me? Or do you miss the Gunnarola who pioneered an online soap opera called To My Internet Lover that took place across various YouTube channels but ultimately failed to retain its audience? What just happened? The photo! It changed! Or do you miss the Gunnarola who was making pop, rap, comedy, music videos that were pretty impressive for their time? You know, I can't help that I'm perfect and that you envy everything about me. Maybe you missed the Gunnarola who was video blogging every day and incorporating your comments and suggestions into each video, which was a lot easier to do before Google changed that whole process. That Gunnarola also spoke very slowly. And speaking of Google, YouTube Today Twitter that they were launching a new and improved bulletins feature. Those two words, new and improved, I'm getting very tired of hearing when it comes to Web 2.0. Or maybe you missed the Gunnarola who pledged to make 22 songs in five months, but ended up taking two years because of standards and other issues. Cray, cray, totally cray. Or do you miss the Gunnarola who quit his job in part to work on 22 songs, but ended up spiraling into a depression and was very open and honest about it. It's totally okay to feel this way once in a while in your life because that's what makes you a real and complete person. People who are happy all the time are in denial. They have problems that they have not worked out in their lives. Or maybe you missed the Gunnarola who was creating a video with the other Andrew what seemed like every week because their life circumstances and geographic proximity afforded them that privilege. Welcome to Q&Q with a a On today's episode, how about we ask each other questions? Wouldn't it be more fun if we didn't? I don't think so. <laughs> You're the worst at <laughs> this game. Or maybe you miss the Gunnarola who doesn't travel as much. A Gunnarola who chooses not to pursue his passions. So as you can see, there are many old Gunnarolas to miss, and one of the saddest facts of life that I've had to accept is that change is the only constant. Constant. Change is the only constant. The things that you like and the people who are in your life will evolve over time. And quite frankly, I get really bored. I have way too many ideas and things that I wanna do, but I can't just seem to stick to one thing. I'm like the iTunes of YouTube, constantly coming at ya with another update. When people tell me they miss the old Gunnarola, I know that they mean they miss when I was making funny music videos and hanging out with Andrew all the time. And in some alternate universe, I'd like to think that that is still happening. There was a period of time when I was trying really hard to make really good stuff, but I never seemed to be able to reach that tipping point. And two years ago, uh, some things happened in my private life and in my public life that you probably know about that really forced me to reevaluate what I was doing, what I wanted, how I define success and how travel fits into all of that. I've become really self-conscious about the music that I make because I pour my heart into it and the expectations and the discussion around it and why it's not more popular, it diminishes the value of this work for me. Travel has been a distraction from that and it's been a way for me to put everything back into perspective. I love to meet people and travel has obviously been a really great way to do that. I always get a little bummed when people tell me that they don't think creating 
travel stories takes as much skill or talent as making a music video, I feel like it's almost more work. I'm almost always on my own, I'm still producing original music for these videos, and I'm creating something out of nothing. But I love it, and there's nothing I would rather do right now. So for those of you who miss the old Gunnarola, I miss the old Gunnarola too. The Gunnarola who didn't depend on YouTube for a paycheck and who didn't have a giant zit on his face. But as much as I miss the old Gunnarola, I'm way more excited to see what the new Gunnarola is going to do. The past 10 years have been all about growing and evolving and pivoting to find new exciting things. When you tell me you miss the old Gunnarola, it makes me feel like you think that I've peaked and that I'll never get better or that I'm only valuable if I'm one half of a duo. As much as my YouTube channel is my job, it's also my creative outlet and right now I'm just trying to do things that inspire and excite me and work with people who share the same passions and values as me. Music is always going to be a big part of who I am and what I do and you know, I'm not abandoning that. I'm just taking some time right now to figure out out how I can set myself apart. I do want to apologize because I definitely feel that I have removed a lot of my personality from my content over the past year and part of that was just because I didn't feel like I wanted to exploit all of my problems for the benefit of clinging on to viewers. I think I just got so busy and I forgot that what makes this so special is the connection uh, that I can cultivate with you. So I'm gonna try to do a better job of keeping you in the know, but also just trust that there are tons of things that always happen off camera that you are just not going to need to know about. Um, and you know, thank God I don't exploit my life and relationship problems on the internet because I would have to make a crying video every week. As always, let me know what's going on in your mind in the comments below. I have met so many of you in person, and it blows my mind every time to hear how long some of you have been watching for. YouTube algorithm be damned. I hope that we will always be able to find a way back to each other. Thank you so much for watching. À la prochaine.